Few issues have been as contentious, as polarized, and indeed as enduring as the Uniform Civil Court debate. A debate that took place in the Constituent Assembly of this country is part of Article 44 of the Constitution. It's been reignited in our times. Some believe it's just a political trial balloon with a name on the elections. Others believe it's an idea whose time has come. Joining us to discuss this, whether a uniform civil code is a majoritarian agenda or much needed reform, three very special guests. Sushil Kumar Modi is a member of parliament of the Bharatiya Janata Party, but more importantly also the head of the Standing Committee on Parliamentary Affairs and Law, which will take an important role to play in pushing the uniform civil code forward. Please give him a very big hand. Asaduddin Owesi is the uh, charismatic member of parliament of Hyderabad from the AIMIM. Please give him, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand. And uh, Flavia Agnes is long-standing activist and lawyer who's been fighting for gender issues for many years now. I appreciate all of you joining us. Mr. Modi, I want to start with you by asking a very simple question. We can debate, we are debating a uniform civil code without a draft in hand. The government of the day wants a national debate on uniform civil code, but you haven't even given the nation a draft. So can you first tell us when will we have a draft of the uniform civil code since you've called the law ministry representatives and law commission representatives, or is this typically another trial balloon being floated by the BJP? I can't timeline that the law commission कब अपनी रिपोर्ट देगा एंड व्हेन द गवर्नमेंट विल फ्लोट अ डिस्कशन पेपर ऑन कॉमन सिविल कोड बट द इश्यूज आर वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंट इवन विदाउट अ कंसल्टेशन पेपर यू कैन वर्क आउट व्हाट आर द इश्यूज ऑफ कॉमन सिविल कोड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू मी फॉर एग्जांपल मैरिज देयर आर टू मेन इश्यूज इन कॉमन सिविल कोड मैरिज एंड सक्सेशन and under the head marriage, minimum age for marriage. There should be a minimum age either for Hindu or for Muslim. As on today, it is not the common minimum age. Then simple law for divorce. The law should be simple and the same ground should be for divorce, either it is men or women. Number three, maintenance after divorce. Number four, monogamy. There should not be polygamy, either it is Hindu or Muslim. And the fifth point is compulsory registration of marriages. According to me, these are the five major points. Either the consultation paper is there or there, it is not there. And they are gender, or gender neutral, or there should not be gender discrimination. किसी प्रकार का स्त्री और पुरुष में कोई भेदभाव नहीं होना चाहिए और सेकेंड इश्यू रिगार्डिंग सक्सेशन सक्सेशन में दो चीजें एडॉप्शन एंड इनहेरिटेंस इनहेरिटेंस में स्त्री पुरुष दोनों को बराबर का अधिकार मिलना चाहिए और मुझे लगता है कि इनहेरिटेंस में मुस्लिम लॉ इज मोर प्रोग्रेसिव देन द हिंदू लॉ बिकॉज अंडर द मुस्लिम लॉ वीमेन गॉट द राइट इन देर प्रॉपर्टी तो हर रिलीजन के लॉ में कुछ अच्छी बातें हो सकती है तो मुझे लगता है और फिर कुछ चीजें तीन तलाक निकाह हलाला आज के समय में और मैं अंतिम बात यह कहना चाहूंगा कि मैं कोई मुस्लिम लॉ का मैं कोई एक्सपर्ट नहीं हूं लेकिन मुझे जो जानकारी है द शरीयत एक्ट इज नॉट अ डिवाइन लॉ जो कुछ लोग ये दावा करते हैं कि शरीयत एक्ट इज शरीयत लॉ इज अ डिवाइन लॉ इट इज नॉट अ डिवाइन लॉ ये ब्रिटिश के जमाने के अंदर ये जो लॉ को तैयार किया गया और जो हादिया थी उसका जो ट्रांसलेशन किया हैमिल्टन ने मैं उसके विस्तार में नहीं जाऊंगा लेकिन मैं इतना ही कहूंगा अगर ये डिवाइन लॉ होता तो दुनिया के सारे देशों के अंदर तीन तलाक तीन तलाक की अनुमति नहीं होती पोलीगेमी की अनुमति नहीं हो, आ, 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 की अनुमति होती इसलिए मुझे लगता है ये सारे इसको रिलीजन से कोई मतलब नहीं है और समय आ गया है क्योंकि हिंदू कोड बिल आया था 1955 में और उसमें मुस्लिम लॉ में कोई रिफॉर्म इसलिए नहीं हो पाया कि लोगों ने कहा कि अभी समय नहीं आया है 
लेकिन अब समय आ चुका है पचहत्तर साल हो गया देश की आजादी को और मुझे लगता है कि अगर मुस्लिम समाज रिफॉर्म के लिए आगे नहीं आ रहा खुद तो वैसी स्थिति में सरकार को आगे आना पड़ेगा उन रिफॉर्म्स को लागू करने के लिए और उसमें क्या आपत्ति हो सकती है कि एक शादी होनी चाहिए चार शादी नहीं होनी चाहिए क्या आपत्ति हो सकती है कि तीन तलाक नहीं होना चाहिए सिंपल लॉ फॉर डाइवोर्स होना चाहिए तो मैं उस बात को रिपीट नहीं करूंगा इसलिए मुझे लगता है कि ये इश्यूज हैं जिस पर कि एक आम सहमति बन सकती है और भी कुछ मुद्दे हो सकते हैं लेकिन मुझे जो लग रहे हैं मुद्दे उसका मैंने आपके सामने जिक्र किया है बिफोर आई गो टू मिस्टर ओबीसी आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू इट इज ऑल्सो सिंपल as you made it out to be you should have a draft and provide this draft to the country a and b your own law commission in 2018 appointed by the narendra modi government said it is neither desirable or necessary what has suddenly changed in 5 years the sense i get chunav aa raha hai 2024 mein kuch to karwana hai ram mandir ho gaya article 370 ho gaya ab lagate hain uniform civil code it is so simple then you bring it before the nation number 1 that 21st law commission they didn't they recommend anything they only gave a consultation paper so they said it is neither no, desirable no, 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 nor necessary I, i i'm coming on that point you have apne ek word chhod diya aur isme main ye ye kehna chahunga jo unhone recommend kiya uski copy mere paas hai unhone kaha which is neither necessary nor desirable at this stage unhone ye ne kaha ki at no stage उन्होंने कहा कि प्रोवाइडिंग दिस कमीशन इज डेल्ट विद लॉज दैट आर डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी रेदर देन प्रोवाइडिंग यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड विच इज नाइदर नेसेसरी नॉर डिजायरेबल और आपने दो लास्ट वर्ड छोड़ दिया राजदीप जी एट दिस स्टेज इस स्टेज पर आवश्यक नहीं है सर व्हाट इज चेंज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी चेंज ये हो गया बिकॉज द्वेंटी फर्स्ट लॉ कमीशन मैं उनका भी एक रिकमेंडेशन पढ़ रिकमेंडेशन या उनकी एक लाइन पढ़ देता हूं it is desirable i am quoting 21st law commission it is desirable that all personal laws relating to matters of family first must be codified number 1 all the family laws laws should be codified to the greatest extent possible and the inequalities that have crept into codified law these should be remedied by amendments ye hai commission और कमीशन ने 2018 में कुछ रेकमेंड नहीं किया और अपने टेन्योर के लास्ट वीक में उन्होंने कंसल्टेशन पेपर फ्लोट किया और इसलिए ट्वेंटी सेकेंड लॉ कमीशन को चूंकि अगर उन्होंने रेकमेंड किया होता तो एक बात थी चूंकि दे आर नॉट रेकमेंडेड तो ट्वेंटी सेकेंड लॉ कमीशन ने तीन साल के बाद नए सिरे से लोगों के सुझाव आमंत्रित किए हैं और मुझे लगता है इंतजार करना चाहिए बहुत जल्द कोई ना कोई कंसल्टेशन पेपर या डिस्कशन पेपर या कोई चीज आएगी बाजार के अंदर मार्केट में सामने आएगी और तब उस पर और ज्यादा डिस्कशन हो पाएगा बिफोर आई वन लास्ट टाइम बिफोर आई गो टू मिस्टर ओवीसी कैन बी दे फॉर एक्सपेक्ट बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इलेक्शन ड्राफ्ट अवेलेबल ऑफ वॉट यू सी एज अफॉर्म सिविल कोड ये सो नो देखिये इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ बीजेपी मैनिफेस्टो और मैं अपेक्षा करता हूं आई एम नॉट इन अ गवर्नमेंट आई एम नॉट अ गवर्नमेंट बट आई होपफुल यस आई एम होपफुल बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर यस It in the a, winter it, session it of is, parliament no no i i can't say when uh, in the this session or that session or before 24 ab to agle election mein 6 mahina bacha hai na to jab bhi hoga hamara hamara commitment hai okay to hamare committee manifesto ka part hai hum apne manifesto ko pura karenge aur mujhe puri ummeed hai ki uh, is tenure mein hum apne manifesto ke is commitment ko pura karne ka kaam karenge okay uh asaduddin ovc Sushil Kumar Modi says that a the sharia is not something that should be treated as divine and immutable that it is there forever he says there are basic issues on which agreement can be made he mentioned a few i'll mention one to you for example polygamy he says it should be very clear under personal laws only monogamy will be acceptable it should be uniformly acceptable it should not be seen as conflict with muslim personal laws how do you respond Well, as far as the Sharia law is concerned, we don't need to learn from BJP man. So we know what Sharia is, and uh, if the, if the, that will be the last day of uh, of all of us, if we have to learn what is Sharia, according to the BJP people. Now, who should you learn Sharia no, from? Then? See, I don't want to even say that. You know, I don't want. You know, I, 
the, the Orientalists have written a lot about Sharia. They don't know about Sharia. They don't know about the different schools of thought which are prevalent. They don't know what fiqh is. They don't know what the jurisprudence. Anyway, so the second point which Mr. Shushil Modi is not mentioning is that why is he leaving out the tribals? I'll come to that. No, no, I, uh, let me know. Now he talks about polygamy. Now, why isn't he not reading that paragraph of 21st uh, Law Commission, wherein he said in paragraph number 2.9, that Muslims have the lowest polygamy or second marriage in the whole of country. And in fact, he went on to say, it is people of different religions apart from Islam who have misused this. Thirdly, you, you please remember that our preamble talks about liberty of conscience. Article 25 to 30, which is a fundamental right of our constitution, they, it talks about principles of diversity and pluralism. The basic structure of our constitution is based upon one nation but many identities. Now, why I say we don't want, we don't require UCC is because we have uh, Domestic Violence Act, Juvenile Justice Act, Special Marriage Act, Indian Succession Act. You don't want to use it. The religion law, use this, it is there. And may I tell you the Special Marriage Act, look at this, the way the Special Marriage Act is working. Now, if two Muslims get married under Special Marriage Act, the Indian Succession Act will apply. If two Hindus get married under the Special Marriage Act, then the Hindu Succession Act will apply to them. Now, what Mr. Sushil Modi and RSS and BJP are trying to do is they want to bring in a Hindu court bill, wherein they will be given exemptions because of their culture, so for them, religion means culture. For me, religion means religion. And apart from that, you, you take about the, the, the whole tribal uh, polygamy. The polygamy exists in tribals also. In fact, there's a polyandry in, in tribals. You don't want to talk about that. India, you see, now you talk about gender justice, mm -hmm. right? Gender, gender justice, what is happening in our country? Half of our, you know, many of our women are out of workforce. Seven, you know, women work 7.2 hours as domestic hell and they don't get an, an, any amount for that. You talk about gender justice, what about Bilkis Bano? You talk about gender justice, what about rapes which are happening in Manipur? Now, see, th these are important questions which the government must answer. So, no, but you accept that personal laws that conflict with guaranteed rights under the Constitution of India need to be resolved. If, no, there, no, are, we, we, if there are existing no, personal laws in Islam <clears throat> that are seen to be not gender friendly enough, why would you not we, want the tell, Hindu court me, bill tell me, went through this debate me, in oh, the oh, 1950s? Oh, oh, oh. Why should hold on, Islam hold on, not hold on. go through the similar do debate? You, do you know Section 5 Hindu Marriage Act? Do you know what is Section 5 Hindu Marriage Act? Please tell me. I want to know from you. Go ahead. Now I'm waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Hindu Marriage Act Section 5 talked about Sapinda relationship. Will you take it off? Will, you know, prohibit, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You talk about uniformity. Do it. The Haryana BJP government says we'll, we'll ban uh, Sagotra marriages. Will you allow, why don't you allow it? There are Hindu Succession Act, Hindu Adoption Act, so many exemptions are given in the form of culture. I want to know, will the BJP remove all this? Will Hindu Succession Act, Hindu Marriage Act, Hindu Adoption Act, everything has to go. Will that go or not? No, you cannot bring in a Hindu court bill and tell me to accept it and wherein you give exemptions, ex exceptions to yourself. That cannot be. And Razi, please understand. You know, Equality and sameness are different thing. How will you do it? Tell me. Why don't you celebrate the, the pluralism and the diversity which this country has? If the pluralism, and this is what the 21st Law Commission said, sir, if the pluralism is in conflict with certain fundamental rights guaranteed to citizens, if a woman is being denied perhaps her fundamental rights under a particular aspect of Muslim personal law as the argument is made when it comes I will, to maintenance. I will, I, will, I will quote you September 12, Times of India, wherein one Gujarati person married second time 
his wife was second wife was taken away from him he goes to the supreme court and the honorable chief justice of india says orders an inquiry and after coming to know that it is cruelty he hands the second wife goes back to his wife uh, to the husband there are cases of uh, in supreme court and high court wherein a wife refused to give tea to her husband a wife refused to uh, serve her in-laws and it was ground of cruelty for divorce that is not the case in islam i don't my wife has no right but my wife my wife is not obliged or she is not under any obligation to serve my parents or to even make me a cup of tea now here you have so let us talk about the whole gambit why are you why are you excluding the hindu marriage act the hindu succession act the hindu adoption act the hindu inheritance act and and moreover article 371 a b c d e f g h will that be removed or not if your mr sushil modi has gone on record and said that the tribal should be excluded then what will 44 is throughout the united territory if that is the case then what is the article 1 of our constitution okay. then you are not going to have a law which you are going to have a law only to 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 control muslims you want to quickly respond to that because this is a primary uh, uh, you know you you made a comment that the tribals of the northeast should be excluded effectively it seems that you want to as you even mentioned in your initial comments you seem to suggest that muslim laws need the re reformation personal laws there are hindu laws also which are gender unfriendly they will also need hindu succession act will need change are you ready for omnibus changes or are you saying nahi tribals ko mat touch kariye there are vote bank therefore tribals will be kept out of this ek baat ka obviously sahab ne uttar nahi diya he says that the least polygamy is in the muslims then you should not have opposed it why you are opposing why you are not for monogamy sir can i can i answer why? please no uh, i'll no, just yeah, no, i'll answer i'll answer jab aapka number aayega one by one we are not in a tv debate yes sir main kewal ye keh raha hu ki jahan going on live on tv jahan par discrimination hai aur jab hindu court bhi laya उस समय हिंदुओं के अंदर भी पोलीगेमी था देर वॉज नो डाइवोर्स अमंग हिंदू एंड द हिंदू वेमेंटली अपोज द हिंदू कोड बिल एंड मोनोगेमी और इन दो डेज दिस वॉज मोर प्रिवेलेंट अमंग हिंदू इवन दिन द मुस्लिम लेकिन एक बार जब पंडित नेहरू ने हिंदू कोड बिल लाया और मोनोगेमी का सिद्धांत बनाया तो आज तीन तलाक ये, ये, ये क्या निकाह हलाला आज के समय में अगर डाइवोर्स हो गया किसी महिला का और दोबारा शादी करना चाहती उस पति के साथ तो ये कहा का कानून है कि उस महिला को एक दूसरे पति दूसरे पुरुष के साथ शादी करनी पड़ेगी वो फिर जब उसको तलाक देगा तब पहली पत्नी के साथ वो रह सकता है इसे मैं तो इतना ही कर रहा हूं कि इसको कोई रिलीजन से मतलब नहीं है जो विमेन के साथ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन है वो जेंडर न्यूट्रल होना चाहिए और इसलिए मैंने जो सुझाव दिए मैंने जो बातें रखी उसके अंदर मुझे नहीं लगता है कि किसी भी धर्म के लोगों को कोई आपत्ति होगी इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सर वेन यू कोर्ट द यू नो नेहरू एंड द हिंदू कोर्ट बिल कंसिडरिंग दैट हिंदू कंजर्वेटिव स्टूड अप टू नेहरू वेन यू वॉन्टेड टू रिफॉर्म हिंदू रिलीजन इट्स गुड टू सी हाउ मच चेंज हेज टेकन प्लेस फ्रॉम द फिफ्टीज टू टूडे but that apart no, no, can Mr. i obviously you should also respond no i'm, I'm you know, going to respond you should be open well, listen, to the listen, idea listen to listen to me sir, no, sir, just listen. a minute the, like, like national it was with triple talaq your first reaction is it's an intervention in muslim personal laws allow Ra that to be Ra a free rajdeep, debate rajdeep please understand national family health survey 5 what is the difference between the people Mus among muslims having second wife and hindus having second wife second wife not even point Four or five percent. This is the, this is Modi government survey. Now here you have a classic case that if a Muslim marries a second wife, she gets maintenance right, she gets a separate house to live, she is called a wife. Whereas a Hindu marries a second wife, she is not called a wife. I don't want to use that word. Thirdly, he talks about halala. Halala is gone. why why don't you read the supreme court judgment it is not there anymore the, the, and the social evils and you, we have made laws about child marriage 80% of child marriage 82% to be right are from the hindu community sir huh? but we the this talk is, listen, the I, challenge I, is to codify these laws these are all it these, these many of these laws are codified 
even it, now Flavia Agnes have done a study in 1996. She can correct me if I'm wrong. That if a Muslim woman, she gets more maintenance instead of getting that paltry sum of 500 rupees under Section 125 CRPC, the DMMA Act, it is there. Can I, can I just stop you there because we mentioned Flavia Agnes, it would be extremely unfair that the debate is hijacked by three men. Particularly since often it's the women who are most concerned at the moment by a uniform civil court, the idea is to make it gender friendly. Flavia, you have a, you have a compromise that you can offer between these two. Is it possible for Mr. Ovesi, Mr. Sushil Modi to sit across a table, look at the laws as they exist, both in Islam and in uh, uh, and at the moment in the Hindu succession at ad adoption and look for best practices. How difficult is that? Is that desirable? Is it necessary? Uh, the problem here is my name. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, the problem here is two things. One is all laws have to be gender just. Secondly, whether they should be uniform. According to me, they need not be uniform. Uniform does not mean gender justice. Now here, each law is gender and just in different ways. Each personal law. Mr. Oasis has mentioned some of them. Mr. Modi has mentioned some of them. In fact, Mr. Oasis mentioned about Hindu law. And uh, Mr. Modi mentioned about Muslim law, where they are gender unjust. Now, how do we resolve it? The question is not whether we need a uniform civil code. Why we need a uniform civil code? And what does it hope to achieve? If it's not BJP agenda, then what is it? What is the need? If it is gender justice is the aim, then we need not touch the uh, Uniform Civil Code debate at all. We have to straight away uh, address the issue of gender injustice. Now, how this is <coughs> to be... Uh, Give me an example. <coughs> Give me an example of a law which you believe can be tackled come tomorrow. Which is a law which you believe is gender For instance, unjust. Christian personal law, which was not always gender just. But over a period of time, <coughs> the Christian women have struggled and made the law more gender just than it was. And today, if you see, there are no issues there, whether it is succession, whether it is marriage, whatever, registration, age of marriage, all of them are there in the Christian law. Now you can say Christian is a small community and reform within them is possible. But so is possible under Hindu law, so is possible under Muslim law. Now, for instance, uh, for Muslim law, <coughs> rather what the point Mr. Oasis said is very correct. I had done a study, published an article. Hindu men and monogamy. Now what happens uh, if a second wife goes to court for maintenance? The court say only uh, the Saptapati was not done, so there is no marriage. And uh, Mr. Sis didn't want to use that word, but what the Supreme Court labels her as a concubine. And she's devoid of all her rights. All the children are made illegitimate. And this is the state of affairs for Hindus. And we think that is great state of affairs because I'm a lawyer, I'm practicing and we have a whole organization. And when the woman comes to you, Hindu woman comes to you, and she's the second wife, we don't know how to help her. So now in such a case, for Hindus to say Muslim, point out and say Muslim law is bad, according to me, it doesn't, uh, it shows a majoritarian agenda. It does not show the commitment to gender justice. So there are lots of things within each personal law. And according to me, reform from within is the best strategy. Rather than imposing, whether BJP imposing, anybody else imposing from above a law, that every community of women, and there are a lot of Muslim women taking the initiative as well. But ma'am, in a patriarchal society dominated by men like Mr. Ovesi, how... Rajdeep, Brahmins like you also. Sorry? Brahmins like you also. Yeah, okay. No, 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 you should, no, no. no, no. You know, no, no, Rajdeep, I, understand, I, you know, dominated by Mr. Ovesi, I'm ruling, I'm the ruling party. Huh? I'm saying we are all patriarchs. We are all patriarchs. Yeah, so why don't you start with, are you afraid to name the Prime Minister Narendra Modi? No, no, my... Say him, starts from Narendra Modi, then Sushil Modi, then Ovesi. My limit, huh? no, no, my limited What point, is stopping you from no, naming no, my it? Limited Come on. Point, no, 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 just a minute. Every time, no, every, Sir, no, no, are, you, I will not allow you to create a stereotype image of myself. I will not do, I will, no, you cannot do that. Sitting no, no, on a live sir, channel. Sir, can I, can I just complete? No, Rajiv, don't do that. No, no, Rajiv, okay. you, Rajiv, you don't know anything about Islamic law. That is what I'm saying. No, you no, should my, read about it. No, no, it. sir, one minute, one minute. 
I ask you a limited question based on what Flavia just said, uh. which is that every community must initiate reform. That would be the best way forward. Yes. In the 1950s, Hindu society went through a a very deep debate, eventually uh, ended uh, up uh, in the uh, Hindu uh, court. Excuse me, excuse it, me. I, 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 I am stopping you because Daya Bhaga Mitakshara school of thought exception has been taken care of in that, huh? in, the, in, in, in the form of exceptions. You have created a Hindu law and given all exceptions for customs. Now, what is law? What is custom? Please tell me. Now, you, you talk about distribution of property, Mr. Will talks about. Will, will this government take away the right of will? Please tell us now. In, this, in, in Muslim law, tomorrow if I decide to give a property to my daughter or son, I cannot give beyond one third. Here you have a law, I can give every inch of my property or send to, to my son or my daughter. Will you stop that? No, these are questions which sure, the government These are answer. very valid but, questions. No, no, these are not. This is the reality. This is the reality which the government is running away from. Let Sushil Modi answer that because Sushil Modi ji, when you talk reform, when you talk about uniform civil code, do you think that it will be in every society? It can't be an Islamic center. If it is, then people will see that it is majoritarian agenda. You have said that tribals should not be included. Why? Why should tribals have a different uh, law? Then the entire basis of our constitution will fall. And the basis of uniform civil code, if you have so many exceptions. Look, where are the tribals? There are some constitutional provisions for Mizoram and Nagaland. The constitution was, uh, was amended in 1986 in 1962. And section 371G and 371A was inserted in the Indian constitution, which says no act of parliament in respect of religion or social practices of the Nagas Naga customary law and procedure shall apply to the state of Nagaland unless the legislative assembly of Nagaland by a resolution so decides. You can't compare tribals with the Hindus or the Muslims. The tribals, they were cut off from the society for the last thousands of years. They were in the jungles, they were living in the forest area. Or Indian constitution, when Nagaland or Mizoram ka merger was India ke andar, उस समय इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने प्रोवाइड किया कि उनके कस्टमरी लॉ में उनके कस्टमरी लॉ एंड प्रोसीजर्स में उनके रिलीजियस और सोशल प्रैक्टिसेस में कोई भी पार्लियामेंट इंटरफेयर नहीं कर सकती है सर बट वुड यू बी ओपन टू नो नो एक मिनट नहीं नहीं मैं मेरी बात नो प्लीज अलाउ मी टू से कंप्लीट नो प्लीज से मुझको पूरी बात बोलने दीजिए उसी प्रकार शेड्यूल एरिया शेड्यूल 6 एंड शेड्यूल 5 जो ट्राइबल एरिया है भारत के 10 जिलों के अंदर मिजोरम के अंदर नागालैंड के अंदर मेघालय के अंदर ऑटोनोमस डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल्स हैं उनको पावर दिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने कि उनके कस्टमरी लॉ उनके मैरिज लॉ में किसी प्रकार का कोई इंटरवेंशन नहीं होगा तो इसलिए ट्राइबल्स की स्थिति अलग है इसलिए पार्टी का क्या स्टैंड मुझे नहीं मालूम है लेकिन मेरा यह व्यक्तिगत मत है कि ट्राइबल शुड बी केप्ट आउटसाइड द परव्यू ऑफ द कॉमन सिविल कोड you can't compare the tribals with the Muslims or the Christians or with the Hindus. And this is why the Constitution has provided the same for 10-20 years. And on this basis, it will become Nagaland Bharat. On this basis, it will become Nizoram Bharat. Sir, I take your point. But the Hindu Succession Act, would you be willing to re-look at that? No, why don't we re-look at that? We are ready. Okay. If I am one minute, Razdeep Ji, Mahilao ko हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट में संपत्ति का अधिकार नहीं था 2005 में संशोधन करके वो अधिकार दिया गया अगर हिंदू समाज में भी कई महिलाओं के साथ भेदभाव है हम सबसे आगे बढ़कर उस भेदभाव को खत्म करके हिंदू ये स्त्री और पुरुष दोनों की समानता के लिए कोई भी कानून अगर बनाने की आवश्यकता होगी तो हम सौ प्रतिशत उसके लिए तैयार है okay. लेकिन इस्लाम के लोगों को भी उसके लिए तैयार रहना चाहिए मैं शर्त नहीं लगा रहा हूं लेकिन आप एक परसेंट लोग अगर पॉलीगेमी करते तो फिर क्या दिक्कत आपको है? फिर तो आपको आगे बढ़कर स्वागत करना चाहिए। एक मिनट सुनिए सुनिए नहीं नहीं वन मिनट वन आई नो नो बिल्कुल ये सुनिए सर आपको आपको नहीं नहीं वन मिनट वन मिनट हाफ अ 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 मिनट सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज डन व्हाट 
اسلام میں جتنی بھی چیزیں ایسینشل ریلیجس پریکٹس سے تعلق ہے آپ جو کیرلا کی مندر میں کیا کر رہے ہیں آپ لوگ وہ ریفرڈ ہے نا کوئی سپریم کورٹ میں جائیے اس میں یہ آل دی وچ وین وین خرآن مینشن سرٹن تھنگز جو ٹرپل طلاق بولے نہیں خرآن میں نہیں اب جب چیزیں خرآن میں ہے یہ ہمارا ایسینشل ریلیجس پریکٹس ہے ہمارا اور الیون اینڈ کرو الیون اینڈ ہاف کرو ٹرائبلس یو وانٹ ٹو ایکسکلوڈ دیم اینڈ یو ول کال اٹ اے یونیفارم سول کورٹ آر یو ریڈی مسٹر اویسی آر یو ریڈی ٹو ہیو اے ڈیبیٹ آن ریفارم کورٹ final word flavia do you see this debate being resolved or do you see us coming back 10 years from now and still having mr ovc and mr sushil modi joining us i don't see this uh, reso- uh, uh, issue resolved in this manner because of the entire bjp attitude towards minorities it's not just muslim it is christian it is minority as a community so in this atmosphere there's no place for dialogue now you we have the drafting is the easiest part to make people understand to take them along is the most challenging part now you see what's happening uh, in the country i sh- i speak as a minority uh, it's not just the muslims who are threatened but even the christians will tra- threatened so today is the climate in which such a debate is not possible you can't say that muslims are like this or christians are like this as a minority what is the bjp approach in which the ucc can be debated i feel this is not a question of gender justice it is a question of gender justice but the gender justice is formulated how for instance this whole uh, saptapadi under the hindu law now when you say uh, hindu marriage is a contract then saptapadi should not be there at all offering the girl itself is so discriminatory muslim law is a contract okay. christian law is a contract for instance simple things like this there are so many if you actually go and study So essentially you're saying first create the conducive atmosphere absolutely an atmosphere of trust which at the moment between Mr Ovesi and Mr Modi at least seems very difficult uh hopefully not you can Mr. become Modi, the anchor again Modi. sorry not just this Modi no, no, but the big Modi sorry the other Modi yes we well, who knows well, you know we could have Mr Ovesi in the future with the other Modi also yeah after 24 yeah Okay, we, we'll wait and see. But for now, the Uniform Civil Code, I think, deserves a reasoned debate and it can only take place in the very first instance if we have a draft in hand. You need a draft in hand before you can have a considered debate. Hopefully, that draft, at least as Mr. Modi is promising us, should be with us no, soon. I'm not uh, he's got worried. The moment I said, is hoping, is hoping will be with us sooner rather than later. For now, Sushil Modi, Asaduddin Owaisi, and the incredible Flavia Agnes. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.